YouTube, what's the vibe, what's the word, how are you guys making out today, man, this is a gameplay video, this is Mutt Head to Head, this is against my guy Banks, if you guys have been watching Twitch on man, make sure you check out Banks, his links are below in the description, we always have great games, now be honest, I beat shit out of Banks and Mutt every time I played him, I think I'm undefeated in Mutt, Every time we played on salary cap, when he was a runner and uh, he would run the ball and he would stack his defense on salary cap, he beat me. I think every time, including the last chance, the last chance qualifier tournament, he beat me in the loser bracket that knocked me out of that tournament. So I could not beat him when he was just running. But on Mutt, I'm undefeated versus him coming up into this game. So I always enjoy playing him. It's always a fun game, man. He's a good player. He's one of the up-and-coming players in Madden. If you guys remember from the podcast, this was Shooter McGavin, the RPO specialist in the Washington Redskins Club Series. I believe he was the runner-up in the Washington uh, Washington Redskins Club Series. So check out Banks if you haven't, man. If not, you guys can watch me play live every single night. A little bit of Madden, twitch.tv slash dub dot. That link is below. Make sure you guys follow them social medias. Boom. The podcast is on Tuesday nights. That's popping. Needed Gaming Invitational this weekend. We got huge news on that. More coming up on that. Make sure you follow all these links so you can stay up to date with the latest things because the Needed Gaming Invitational is going to be amazing this weekend. It is a mutt tournament with all your favorite streamers. Me and Skimbo will be live on the call giving you the best action in mutt. So if you guys are ready for that, make sure you comment below. Also, hit the like button if you're enjoying the content. You guys have been showing me mad love on all the content I've been pushing out. So uh, make sure you guys do that and let's get into this gameplay. So like I said, man, I am undefeated versus Banks this year on Mutt. Um, he's good, he plays Mutt way different than he plays Salary Cap. Salary Cap, he was one of the 10 cap quarterback guys, which has been proven to be the best offense. But in Mutt, he plays a lot of, he runs Oakland still, but he runs a lot of that tight slots passing formation, which is really tough in the game. Second down one runner right here, think I'm gonna get a block on Palomalu, but nobody blocks him and we fumble with Vic, and people always ask me, how do I never fumble? I fumble more than any person in the world. You guys have watched my gameplays. You see how it happens as he takes off with Robert Griffin right there. Now, this tight slots formation. It is in Oakland. It's one of the better formations passing-wise in the game uh, because you have a running back and a, and a tight end on both sides, so you can block blitzes either side. you got a wheel route. You can put corner routes, post routes, anything, because right now everybody has hot route master. Everybody is on every route. And uh, the, the biggest thing, he does a good job of having good pocket presence, blocking blitzes. He had a lot of success. I, I really didn't get too much pressure. Almost to the point during this game, I'm going to wind up trying to bring all the goons at him. Uh, but we're going to hold him to a lot of threes. That's what we'll do right here on this first drive. Hold my man to threes. If you can do that, you can win games. I mean, if you're struggling on defense, that's my biggest uh, advice for you, man. Focus on just holding people to three rather than giving up sevens. That's my biggest advice just to make sure you guys uh, get better on defense. You'll notice you improve, you win more if you can just hold people to threes instead of sevens. And right there, we hit the corner route over there to Mr. Randy Moss. First down, little read option. I love Trey Flex because it has this read option, has one of the best pass plays in the game. Uh, and when people are good at stopping blast and, and I don't want to fumble, say I'm already down in possession, I kind of get away from blast, go straight to Trey Wide Flex. Now Banks, as he runs a little one four six, and we poke him up the middle right there, pause to Julio Jones, touchdown, take the lead, seven to three. Now Banks is one that mixes in a lot of coverages out of two, three, six, or two, four, five, whatever defense that is, with the palms. I know you guys play against palms. Um, for tight, for compressed formations, it's really tough, especially bunch, but I, I think it sucks against anything that's spread out, like Trey Wide Flex. Uh, great defense here, um, but he does roll out, does hit the, the uh, wheel route, coming back, Randy Moss, big play. So like I said, Palms will come into play most of this game. As you see, I send everybody there, guard the first read. Deion Sanders gets the sack. Next play, we're going to send a lot too, but he throw, dumps off this little corner route to Julio Jones. He has Moss and Julio Jones with, uh, what is it, um, human joystick, so that's definitely tough. But next play, he's going to throw and we actually sack him, but he crosses the line, and it causes him to fumble, so I get my fumble back. Isn't that we always ask in Madden when we fumble, can I get my fumble back? That's the key, and we got our fumble back right there. Looking to go up to 14 to 3. If I can go up 14 to 3, I'm going to feel really good because I do kick the ball off to start the second half. So he's going to get the ball back there. So I got to make some plays. Michael Vick just getting a couple yards. Can't take another hit, man. I can't can't fumble again when you're playing a good player. Um, we got a second and eight. And we're going to take off of Vick again. Get by Palomalu. First down. Get down, Michael Vick. Uh, that's what he does. We're going to run here. Hopefully try to make this the last drive of the first half. That would be great. You know, so we're going to keep keep running. Most of the time you run just to keep the clock running, man. Control the clock. Third down, I actually get sacked off the edge right there. 
did not do a good enough job uh, with my pass protection there. So we were forced to kick three, and we're going to give him the ball back. But we're up seven points, feeling okay. Kick the ball off. We got to play some defense. Like I said, if you focus on holding your opponent to three, you'll be way better off on defense. No big plays as he hits the corner route right there to Randy Moss, man. No big plays, and, and you'll be fine. And uh, even, even in some of the, the games I lose and everything, if I look back and say, man, I didn't give up any good plays, I can sleep at night. I feel like I did a good job. Giving up those streaks over the middle, that's tough, uh, especially when someone randomly mixes them in. He got me right there. Next play, Michael Evans with the sack. I have Mike Evans in the slot. Um, just be, Mike Evans and Deion are my slots there. He hits the crossing route, but gets the shit animation out of bounds. Boom. To third and third and 17, Doles underneath completes it, but he's going to be forced to three. So here we go. Two drive or was he had three drives so far, forced to three twice. I'm okay with that. I mean, it's not the best case scenario. It's not amazing, but he only has six points. Then, you know, one seven is better than two sixes or two threes or six, seven and six. And you know what I'm talking about. So if you continue that, if you continue that philosophy here, I try to beat him deep. I knew his, I knew his user was the deep blue. But that Calvin Johnson was fast enough to get back. So we don't pick. So that's not good as he hits this slant right here to Randy Moss. Make a tackle, Pat Peep. Time is running down. He still has three timeouts. I just got to keep him out of the end zone again. That's that's the key. He, here he goes, throws to Julio Jones on the out route. I'm telling you, that for some reason, that hot route or that joystick makes him super tough to tackle. Hits a little streak out there. 14 seconds. He has one timeout left. Going to the wheel route play again. He's going to go ahead and take off and get a couple more yards with Robert Griffin. Also get out of bounds, eight seconds left. And this play, he's gonna catch me on my D tackle. Always hate when that happens and actually hit the streak over the middle to Calvin, big body Johnson. Touchdown, Night Train Lane could not get in front of him. That one was rough, so we were just up 10 to three. 10 straight unanswered points, which seems like a blink. It, I, that happened fast, and I'm kicking off. So not only did that happen, he gets to double dip the chip. So, I'm a little mad. And you know what happens when you get mad on defense? You start rage blitzing. He's going to get a lot of rage blitzing right here. But there goes that man, Miles Garrett. Boom, right there. Get him to third and 21. You know all the dogs are coming to the party on third and 21. Sack, real quick three and out. We're going to get him to punt the ball. Good punt, getting out of bounds. So, we feel good. We got it back. We got the ball back. Let's go get seven. And here goes that Palms. And what Palms does, sometimes it gives up the Baja. That's what it does sometimes. Calvin Johnson right up the middle. Palms, dagger stock against Palms. You got to look for why. If, I know you guys see me. I never throw a why. I never hit that streak. I never find you guys always tell me, why is open? Why is it touchdown? I really only look to that streak route if someone's running match coverage. And this game, I did look for that streak route and I found it right there. It kills match coverage. So if you're running against Palms, you're running against dagger, or you're running against palms or quarters or cover nine, try to just mix in a dagger. Keep your eye out for wide because he could break wide open, and he did right there for the touchdown, going up 17 to 13. Uh, just making some plays here. Just sack, sack, sack. Clowney's still one of my. And he actually goes for a fake punt there, which is cool because he turns the ball over, but I'm on the 10 yard line. It's hard to score here on the 10 yard line. Go to a little read option action. Trying to run it in, trying to mix in some runs. Just really can't get any blocking that I want. Boom, so we got third and goal on the eight yard line. Tough spot to be at. Uh, I really scramble up, boom, hit a route right there, Ingram. And we're gonna no huddle. Cause you know what play we have in our back pocket. Blast that ass, there's no doubt about it. I'm gonna go to blast. Now, I will tell you, if you wanna run blast more effectively, come out and blast, do not audible to it. It's always better to come out and blast than audible to it. I, that's what I've learned running blast the last two months or something along that yeah it's just come out and blast don't audible to it and we get stopped right there so no points for me we are only up four and he runs a little inside zone he gets up out of there but dawkins is the best safety ever and he's going to hawk him down make sure he doesn't get sticky on me open field good tackle right there once again we're up four points so that means we definitely got to hold him to three here and uh make sure that that we still had the lead coming out of, coming out of this possession for sure, big two crossing routes right here. Too much time in the pocket. Where is Miles Garrett? That's the one thing about D tackle, man. He'll always piss you off because it's always like, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Throws a high ball here. Doesn't get defeated, man. He just could throw that regular. Don't throw it high. He'll get his feet in right there. Next play underneath. Make the tackle. Third and long right now on the 15 yard line. We're gonna have some great coverage right here. Nowhere to go, and I make a play with Dion Prime. Time, Prime, time. Get up out of there. Great lurk. 
Uh, when the play is breaking down and you know that tight end delay route is coming, you just got to sell out. Made a play right there. Having a fast DB, 99 acceleration, 99, just whatever Dion is, made it a little easier to make that play for sure. And there it is again. Why? You want to run palms. You want to try to match these crossing routes, these in routes. That streak will go to the Baja. Two big touchdowns for Calvin Johnson. Quick snapped him there. Actually caught him on a D tackle. Uh, that's the great thing about Dagger, man. It is already set up. Just go out there, spam A, and snap the ball. Boom. Caught him on a D tackle. So now we're up 11. Two minutes left. Just any play has to take some time off the clock. Here we go. Post route. Boom. He catches it. But he's going to no huddle. Let's go. That's okay. Time is running out. I'm going to be on Taylor Mays right here. He wants to get a playoff before the two-minute warning. Taylor Mays, I want to lurk to the left. Definitely lurking to the left for sure. And this is a pick, but it goes by my face. <clears throat> my lurker must not have worked there. But it's cool. Un out, route, or out route right there. He gets out of bounds. And what he's going to do here is kick the extra point. Kicking the extra point is huge. It's important. Uh, it's pretty much, if you have the opportunity to get one of your two possessions, go ahead and use that opportunity to get one of your two possessions because it's a huge uh, thing that you still have time if you do get the ball back. That allows him to kick deep. Now, I tell you, when I get the ball in this situation, the easiest time to get this first down is first down. I'm going to try to pass on first down here because people are so geared up to stop the run that uh, it's easier to pass. If you get to a third and 10 or a third and eight and try to pass, they'll be way more ready to stop it. So that's my, my advice for you. If you get in these situations where one first down can end the game, I would pass on first down here. Here, he kind of boxes what I want to do, but I slide. I, I could have ran out of bounds. You got to keep that clock running. Make him use a timeout. Now here, I want to come out. He's in cover three, obviously, because his safety is in the middle of the field. But I'll flip this because he has 400 DBs on, on the right side. And now look how many people he has on the left side. Outside of the center is one, two, three, four, five. I have so many more blockers where it's just easy numbers. Flip it inside zone. Walter Payton. Boom. First down. Now we got to milk the clock. Now he didn't call his timeouts. So if he doesn't call his timeouts, uh, you have to milk this all the way to one second. Because he's not calling his timeouts because he's hoping that you, that you keep some time on the clock for him. Nobody uses his timeouts there. I'm up by eight. I'm just going to go ahead and, and call a pass play. But we can get sacked if we don't like what we see. And that's what I did right there. Pretty much took the sack. Keep the clock running. I'm going to punt the ball. Got to do your best job. You know, Peter the punter right here. Randall Cunningham. Make sure you dot this right here. And that's what I mean. Don't be trying to be too greedy. You don't need to get it at the one. You get it at the 15 to 10. That's better than the 20. First play, we're going to send the dogs. There it is. Boom. Sack them. Clock's running. He's going to no huddle. He's going to try to pop a run. Uh, right here, it goes back to the last game play I told you. Just make sure you don't give a big play, man. Run back. Make 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 him stutter step. Make him do whatever he can to help your other boys come up and make the play. Because uh, that's that's the only he's waiting just for you to overextend and tackle and miss a tackle and give up a touchdown. So that's the GGs in the chat. That was a good game. I hope you guys enjoyed it, man. Uh, like I said, it's always a shootout. It's always fun when I play Banks. Man, 20 is super fun. Uh, when you're playing people that just pass or at least in shotgun or something along that nature, uh, it's a lot more enjoyable. I hope you guys feel the same way, man. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. Uh, please comment.